Morning YouTube. I have got a couple of pallet boards that are in ridiculous condition. And I figured I would show y'all how I'm going to get usable wood out of pallets that forklift drivers, I guess they don't like them. So let's see if we can salvage some good wood out of these boards. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to process this to take a board like so and turn it into a usable piece of wood like this. So let's go ahead and we'll go to the joiner first because that's where I like to start. You can use a router or a table saw sled. I like to use the joiner. I have one, it's the easiest for me. So we'll go over there. The first thing we gotta do is find the best edge that you wanna keep. This side is ridiculous. We can't really salvage from here to here. So the rest of this board could be a good three inch board. There's a pretty bad crack down here, but you can split it apart and glue it if you wanted to keep a three inch board. I don't need a three inch board. I need two, two inch by 52 inch boards. So these boards are gonna be perfect for that. The first thing you wanna do before running it through your joiner or your planer is check for nails. Now, I left that nail on purpose because I'm gonna show y'all how to deal with these big holes. This one just pulls out. Like I said, I left it there on purpose. These bigger holes versus these smaller holes will get better. So after we get one edge straight, I'm not worried about square just yet, I just want straight, that way I got a good reference for my table saw. I will go ahead and set that at two inches. Yeah. Bring the blade down here a little bit. Don't need to be all that high. Get my push stick ready. Safety glasses. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this straight edge and cut off all this bad stuff. I should have two inches all the way down to here. A eh, little under. But I'll still have enough board to be able to do what I need to do. I know I got a lot of stuff here on the table, but I figured a good time to show you guys this because I need to use these two boards. You see what we cut off here? This one, there's not much left that's gonna be usable. So this one will become firewood. This one is still bad from here to here. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go from here to there That'll be firewood. The rest of this, we'll go ahead and straighten out and we'll run it through the planer with the two inch boards. And that'll give me 
an inch and a half piece of wood, that's still good for something else. So, get these cut up for firewood, and then we'll move over. Yeah, we'll go ahead and move over to the miter saw. I'll go ahead and cut the bad parts out of them. Then we'll go to the planer, because I've only got a 70 inch capacity over there. So, we'll cut this one up. So we've got this wood salvaged so far. It's time to flatten it out so we can go to the plane. So now, what we're going to do is we have jointed this side and you can see how these nail holes are getting smaller. This is where the head went in. That's where the nail come out. So we jointed the side where the nail came out. Now we're going to run it through the planer with this side up and that will start taking that big nail head hole out. And they'll get smaller like these here. You'll hardly notice them. So I've got five 60 inch by two inch boards and a couple of shorties here. Now I had to uh, find a couple of other boards that were bad in the same way because I'm making a face frame out of these and we'll finish the video with that. I wasn't able to get all the heads down, but we'll just put them on the back side of the face frame and they'll be all right. And I'll show you how I do that when I build a face frame. Next thing we'll have to do is cut these to length and put some pocket holes in them. And then we'll make up our face frame. We'll do that tomorrow though. I got to get all this crap off the bench and uh, get them all laid out. So, I'm going to go take a nap and we'll get back at it in the morning. So, I got these measured to 52 inches. I'm going to go ahead and cut these. Now that I got my bench nice and clear, we can go ahead and start putting this stuff together. We can start laying out with the face frame. Now you can see that these holes I did not get them all the way down, but we'll use this as the front. We'll put these on the back of the face frame so that nobody will see them. See, these are pretty bad. Now they're pretty good. So, you got your pocket holes all cut, 
you're ready to start screwing it all together. Stop. Make sure, because if you did this like I did and you laid it out, you know where you wanted your, call them stretchers. Uh, you may have forgot that this is the front and this is the back. So make sure to flip them over because you don't want these ugly nail heads on the front of your face frame. You want the little ones. So make sure to flip your two over so that all the uglies on the back side where nobody's going to see it. I noticed when I was cutting my stringers and putting the pocket holes in that one of them had a pretty nasty crack. So I couldn't use that one. I had to cut another one. But I think I can salvage this board on these 23 inch runners. So I'm going to try to cut this off at 23 inches. And see if we can salvage this. Because at this length it's trash. So, now we're all good. No crack. So I need four of these 23 inch runners. I got this piece, and I will be able to cut out both these holes, which will leave that board pristine with no holes in it. Then I have this board, and really, I could lay it about anywhere on there and be able to get my others, or two more out of it. And this one, man. Yeah, that'll leave me enough. One, two, three, four. Cool. So, we're going to cut this stuff out, and pocket hole it. Remember that cracked in I took off? Now spacer block. I need to make four drawers that are six inches deep. So I need six inch openings. So that spacer will hold it in place while I screw it together. And there we have it. That is a full face frame made out of five bad pilots. Two inches and I think a little bit of light sanding this thing will be gravy. So, if you want to see this thing completely finished, you'll have to check out the big dresser build. And hopefully, I will have it up before this, but maybe not. Like and subscribe, and uh, see this thing get put on a dresser. See y'all later. And there 
is a beautiful face frame.